Hello, Mac the Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Armstrong Oko Flex. And we've just discussed there about his transfers and moves, and I've been wrong three times. <laughs> so, we're going to get straight into it, I suppose. Look, you're still eligible for the under 21s, and yeah. you've had a, a lot of moves, but some big clubs, I would say Celtic, West Ham, Swansea, uh, Zurich now, yeah. who you're at. Talk to me kind of how your career's been so far, and have you, have you, how have you found like, settling in? And moving to these different countries, obviously Celtic, Scotland, so I'm going yeah. to say it's a different country. No, I say my career for the last, uh, for the last how many years since I started, it's been uh, it's been up and down really. But um, I'm just grateful for each opportunity that I've been at, different experiences. Um, like you said, my f when I was at uh, Arsenal, I was there from 11 to 16, and then I've then moved early to Celtic. Which was a different environment, different, um, different place, just different, different way of living. But my family was supportive of that. But obviously, the move didn't go the way I wanted. So then I was grateful to get the opportunity to go to West Ham. Done well my first year, then uh, warranted the move to Swansea on loan, and that's when I really learned more about my game, playing Championship football week in week out, coming on trying to do the best I can. But uh, it was difficult. But I learned a lot, and then now I'm at Zurich, and I'm still learning. So, well, I look at Michael Albafemi. Obviously, you were with him at Swansea, and I, I feel as though like he's someone that you're probably looking up at as someone who's took his opportunity. It took him a long time to get a run of games uh, with Swansea, and then he took he took his chances uh, with Swansea and with Ireland. Mm -hmm. Finished the season brilliantly, and that was kind of where he got his run of games. Uh, before that, he wasn't really getting. He was kind of in and out substitute appearances, yeah. getting goals, but kind of late goals later on as a sub. Is, are you kind of looking at that as a chance now? You've got your move you kind of want to emulate in terms of just getting regular minutes and, and, and playing as much as possible to then showcase your talent? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm quite close with Michael. still speak to him here and there now. And um, yeah, when I was at Swansea with him, it was a good experience. Um, he done well. He done well there. That's why he got moved to Burnley. Um, yeah, I feel like when you're in the position I'm in, where it's like you've not had a run of games, you're almost like like it's a stop-start player where you're coming on or the um, the gaff hasn't trusted you to start games on the bounce. So I just have to bide my time, and I feel like going to Zurich, I would hopefully get that run of games soon. Obviously, I've come into a time where we're now top of the league. The do we're doing well. Um, our attackers are doing well, scoring goals. I'm happy for them, happy for the team. So I just have to be patient and do what I can do, which is come on and try and impact the game when I can. But um, yeah, if I do get those run of games, I feel like hopefully I'll be able to show my my ability, show what I can do, and then whether that warrants any type of call ups, we'll see. Uh, I don't know, but. Um, I'm just focusing at one week at a time, one game at a time. So right now, with the 21s, we've got a game with Latvia, so that's what I'm looking towards. You talked to me off air about, you know, the the debut cup goal that you mm -hmm. scored. You corrected me on that, and then you obviously got your, your first league goal. So you've shown that when you've been given the chances that you can score the goals if needed. Are you looking at this international window now as uh, a chance if you can get a couple of goals or whatever, take that form from there into back into the club form? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm always confident. I'm always. I always believe that I can get a goal or assist or impact a game, no matter if I've scored previous games or not. I feel like it's important for a player in my position to have that confidence and believe in themselves to go in, no matter what, no matter what's happened in the last game or last five games, to go in and back themselves to do something. So, obviously, it's nice that I've scored a few yeah. um, goals for for my club, and I really. I was really happy with, with, especially my last goal in the league, because um, it was a tough game. We were, play, we were playing against second place at the time, so it was it was a big game and it was a good goal. So now I'm just uh, I'm just looking to make an impact in every game I can. And next game is against Latvia, so if I get the opportunity, I will be looking to make an impact and help the team win. That's the most important thing: the team winning. So. Yeah, you're just looking around the squad. I was just looking at the talent that's on show. Like yeah. some ridiculous players, yeah. and, and all the players themselves say it too. Is it a, um, you know when you come here? Do you feel like it, maybe the standard goes up a little bit, or 
how, how is it in your point of view? I think the standard's good. Training's competitive. Um, everyone wants to play, and that's a good thing. And everyone probably has reasons to play. Players playing in the Championship, League One. Everyone playing in respectable leagues. Respect, respectable. That's yeah, it, right? Yeah. yeah. But um, now, 100%, the talented squad, as you can see in the last two games, won both of them. Even the friendly games before that, we ain't lost yet with this age group. So, yeah, it's a good squad. And I have. I, the squad, we all have high hopes for this campaign and uh, I feel like we can really achieve things because as much as there's a lot of talent, I feel like the whole squad's humble and hard-working and we know what we have to do each day, each camp to to make it that far and I believe in the squad really, so it's good. And like um, Jim was saying to us earlier, we've got, we actually got a big pool of players to, that he can select from, so it's like... I think that shows that a few players from last camp went in this camp, but then a few players come back in. Like, does the standard doesn't drop? It's still at the same. So it's a good squad. I think as well. Adam actually said we've seen before yeah, that he thought, or he said that, you know, he thinks that we'll qualify. As he, I'm not putting the pressure on you to say it, but he he had said it before. No, you, so I, I definitely believe that. I 100 percent believe that. And yeah. we just have to go there and show it. Yeah, because I feel just, like a lot of the players believe that as well. Yeah, it seems like the confidence is there. I mean, you look at some of the, the, the players like yourself, Idemo, Andy Moran, yeah. Sinclair Armstrong. He got called up to the senior yeah, team and made his debut against yeah. the Netherlands. You know, so as well, I was saying that to uh, Idemo. It's like it's, there's a great pathway there now. I think ever since Stephen Kenny's kind of come in as the first, the senior team manager, um, mm. there's been a great pathway for under 21 players to yeah. come up to the senior team that wasn't really there for a number of years before. That do you look at that? And if you have a good game at under 21 level make an impact that there is an opportunity for you maybe to get a call up like because I've seen some, some of the maybe lesser games like a Gibraltar or New yeah. Zealand game you could be targeting something like that I'm not saying you are but like if you've done well in a window then it leaves the opportunity of people talking about you all of a sudden you can get called up and I think that's something that every player in the squad should aspire to. Yeah 100% like I feel like our 21s are really close to the first team and and like you said it could take one game could take a couple games you never know just depends how the manager is feeling. Depends how you're good doing with your club, and or it could be you uh, putting good performances with the with the 21s uh, Ireland. So, really and truly, it's um, it's very possible for anyone to to make that step. And I feel like a lot of the players should inspire towards. I don't know if um, that's everyone's goal or target. That's each to their own, really. But. Um, I'm assuming it's everyone's dream to do that. So, and the good thing is it's very possible because we have players on the squad who's done that. Sing, Sinny literally last camp, got yeah. the call halfway through the camp. So, yeah, I feel like it's possible and it's a great thing to see. Yeah, yeah it's a great thing. I'm so happy for Sinny. And even uh, League of Ireland players going, Jonathan Afalabi, shout out him. He's having a wonderful season. Like he's, I'm a close he's friend playing with him. him. At Celtic. Yeah, yeah. Well, a close friend of him, and even him getting the call up shows anything's possible. So why limit yourself? Or why think you can't? When, when we have young players going up, League of Ireland players now getting the opportunity as well. So now it's just a great thing to see. I think it's exciting times for Irish football, honestly, and we can do a lot. I believe. Yeah. I believe so as well. Well, look. The lads are, are heading off. I think you're heading off to Lafayette very soon, or you're going for yeah. a meeting and that. So I won't keep you any longer. I want to say thanks very much for your time. Yeah. Best of luck. Hopefully, we bring back the three points. Yeah, yeah, we should. Hopefully. Hopefully. It'll be a tough game, but that's the target. Yeah. And hopefully, I managed to edit this okay as well. Yeah, you need thanks to. Thanks very much for your time, right? <laughs> Cheers.